So recently I started looking for a new pair of work boots for me and uh, I really wanted was looking for a video on these boots specifically. I wanted to see what they look like, kind of how they fit, what they kind of actually look like coming out of the box. So these are the Justin Warhawk Composite Toe. I got eight and a half. Yeah, no, I got this coffee. So this is like coming out of the box. I was worried they're gonna be incredibly bulky, very massive, and uh, doesn't seem like overly bulky to me. It's got a it's got a bigger toe box. <clears throat> that was something that I was wanting though. I wanted that bigger toe box. These are my old boots. These are some Wolverines. They're uh, cheaper ones, but they kind of have the smaller toe box and. Uh, just wasn't as comfortable to me. So that was something that I was looking for in boots. I wanted something that had a, a bigger, more comfortable toe box. Uh, another reason why I wanted to get like a better look at these was uh, on my old boots. It's really not a lot of support. You can push that in. You see like that's really not a lot of support or cushion. And uh, I work as a welder and so, you know, it's important for me to be able to have good boots that are comfortable throughout the day that uh, don't hurt my feet, give me good insulation from the cold. Um, yeah, you know, and so just boots like that, they were just becoming very uncomfortable uncomfortable for me. So, yeah, so these soles, uh, this is what really impressed me. You know, I can't even push this in. Wait, there we go, there's a little. But I mean, that's, I'm like pushing pretty hard. Yeah. Right, so I actually had to go to quite a few different uh, stores um, trying to get an idea on getting these boots. So I found the Justin boots. I normally wear a 9. And these run a little um, big in their sizing. So I got 8.5 and, and that fits me as a 9. I got 9 in my Wolverines. Those were a little bit big but I had Ariats before that and the 9s were like really nice, snug. <clears throat> And so I tried a couple of different boots on. They didn't have these ones specifically in store. Um, they had these, uh, they were, I think they were like Commander X5s or something. But they uh, had the same type of insole as this one. And this insole, very thick, lots of tread. That's another big thing for me, having that extra tread. You know, as I walk around, it gets worn down. I, I don't want to be slipping on stuff. So that was important for me. And it's uh, offers a lot of cushion too. Uh, online they actually have a breakdown of the whole insole and uh, it's uh, got a lot of different layers to it so I'll try them on real quick for you kind of see how they fit before I actually try these on is uh, this is a composite toe so actually in comparison to the steel toe boots this one is a little bit taller than the steel toe boots I have currently and uh, it's got a bigger insole and it's actually still you know a little lighter than those steel toe boots so wanted to uh, mention that as well and then they also come with a return um, like uh, form or paperwork so if these don't fit or they're not what you're looking for you can return them like right away and so I thought that was really nice you know if they weren't what you're looking for real simple really easy I put a value in a more expensive work boot. I've really just found that you're wearing this thing every day and you don't want to be screwing up your back, your knees. You just don't want to be miserable in your daily life. So I put value in getting nice boots. These were cheaper end ones, but I had gotten them uh, through a great deal and I just needed boots at the time. But uh, some of the factors that I look at is the inner side of these. So this is like, well, this material down here is uh, kind of like cloth material all the way down and I found out I've only worn these for mm, about half a year only like six months and it's degraded down here in the heel section right through here it uh, gets really worn down so when I try to take the boot off at the end of the day it uh, gets caught and it starts tugging on the liner of the boot which disrupts the whole shape of the boot and I actually had uh, on my left side yesterday yeah, today's Saturday. Yesterday when I was taking my boot off, it actually ripped the whole uh, uh, steel toe section back because I was ripping off the liner. So uh, that I, I don't like that. It doesn't feel comfortable on like my legs and that really annoys me trying to take it off. But 
So these ones, uh, yeah, they have a nicer liner. Seems like good, tough material. And uh, actually down here in this section on the inside, they have leather uh, where, you, where your heel slides. So I like that. Yeah, that feels really comfortable. These got like uh, insoles and in, like these foam insoles. Got a full metal shank. I just uh, I was impressed by what I saw, and I I had uh, gone to the store to try the other, like lower version boots because they all actually these Vibram um, insoles or soles they have them on all of their work boots. So my toe goes up to about right there, and so that feels nice, nice, snug, but room in the toe box. That's really important for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like these boots. Really comfortable. Feel sturdy, feel comfortable. Feel like I got some good cushion. Feel like they look good. I like this kind of in the square toe box. I don't know why, it's just the uh, style kind of like. Yeah, so I had to go to work on Monday. You know, hopefully feeling a little comfortable and you know, hopefully my feet don't get as cold. That's something else that uh, I'm hoping with these. Hope this uh, kind of give you better idea on these boots uh, I just thought maybe it'd help someone I don't know I definitely again can't stay enough putting value in a good pair of boots so keep that in mind